Hi, my name is Stephen Davids, and in this video, I will discuss how to develop a relatively complex database in Google Spreadsheets. We are used to think of databases in terms of tables that are related one to many, many to one, or whatever the case may be. Underpinning these tables are then spreadsheets which have most of their data filled. With that mindset, Google itself does not provide much comfort because it starts its designs from the forms and then the forms are sometimes cut into sections and most often not. However, if we want to optimally benefit from Google, we need to make a paradigm shift. That shift starts with viewing the sections of Google Forms as tables. Secondly, we need to design the forms and its underlying spreadsheets diagrammatically. When you design it diagrammatically, it is much easier to see the relationships between the sections which you then use as tables. As you can see, the sections can be subsections of each other. In other words, it can also be subtables of each other. This, these sections can be subsection of section 3. These sections can also be a subsection or subsections of section 4. These interrelationships are much easier to see when you design your Google Spreadsheet diagrammatically. The third key concept to remember is that the last question in a section can be used to determine one to many relationships. In the very last question, you can determine to what section you can go and lead to. The last question can determine if your next option or table or section will be section 2 or section 3 or section 4 or even section 5, whatever the case may be. For example, if your question is in the last question, which of the three levels of government do you like? Is it national? Is it provincial? Is it mun municipal? The person, whenever he selects, whatever the selection he or she makes, will then depends wherever they go. Then there's also a subsection. Suppose the person select, I prefer the municipalities. Then there can be subsections. Is it the municipality of Cape Town? Or is it the municipality in Macquarie, or whatever the case may be. The last question, if the last question is, for example, which of the three colors of the traffic light do you prefer? Is it orange? Is it red? Is it yellow? That then determine what section the person will go to. And you can then further, suppose it is green, what elements and shade would you prefer the robots to be? Is it light green? Is it dark green? That last, very last question, determine what section you will follow and lead to. Then there is also, after each section, there is, at the very end, there is a 
functionality after the section go to. After the section go to, can also go to various sections. However, you only have one choice here. You can only here, if you use this functionality, only go to section 8, to section 3, to section 4. However, if you have a last question, which is a multiple choice question, you can determine many more sections you can go to. However, there are three provisions if you want to use the last question to determine the relationships between the various subsections or tables. First one, A, is that the question, the last question must be required, mandatory. The last question must also be drop down or multiple choice drop down or multiple choice C the third proviso is that the last question must have a, um, utilize the go to section based on answer function then you stay whatever the, the answer is go to section 5 go to section 6 go to maybe submit a form immediately or whatever the case may be. Here is then also the after section 2 go to. This option which is very good and built in however only allows you to go to and select one section where you want to go to. Lastly you can then go back to the spreadsheet and to organize your data with queries if you want to make it more user friendly or if you want to only select some, a certain amount of columns based on your specified criteria. Thank you very much for watching this video. We appreciate all constructive comments. Please like this video.